also known as the Watsuki cattle because they were first domesticated by the Watsuki tribe in Africa. They have the longest horn span of any horned animals. They're actually in a guess with the world records because one had horns spanning seven feet. Those horns are super important to this animal's survival because they actually help them cool down. What they do is they send blood up into their horns where it circulates, cools off, and then gets sent back into their body to lower their body temperature. Black bear territory. You can find black bear 
is in 49 out of 50 of the states. The only state you'll not find a black bear is in Hawaii.
like our red kangaroo that we have here at the safari, which are the biggest marsupial in Australia. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Have dingoes. We don't have koalas either because we're not actually. No, I can't even bring myself to say that joke. No, I have to. I started it. We're not qualified to have koalas. <laughs> That's what everyone else says. I never say it because I think it's too cheesy, but I had to go with it because I feel bad about the dingo thing. Right around the right, you can see some of our emus. They are the second largest bird in the rat pack family with ostriches and rheas. They are flightless, but they are the only birds with calf muscles, which is why the animators actually studied emus to see how the velociraptors might yeah. be. Wait, does anyone know what a baby kangaroo is called? No one ever answered. Yeah? A joey, yes. Sorry, did you know it too? Points for you, kid. Jemmies are born super prematurely, so they're about the size of a lima bean. They have to crawl by themselves into their mother's pouch, so they're going to develop for the next six months. They can stay there for an additional two months after that, or until the mom decides to kick them out, which she can literally do by clenching her pouch shut. That color on the side of the emu's head is actually the same color that their eggs are. So like pretty. What? Lima bean size, yeah. Like this big. Yeah, mommy! Jenny! Yeah, that kangaroo is gonna have six feet tall, ten feet long. They include those tails. They can actually bounce on that tail and be even like the black or a kick. And a kick from a kangaroo can actually stop a human heart. I like to think that this is what they call a group of kangaroos hanging out together, a mom. The males are that red color, the females are gray. And kangaroos can hop 10 feet into the air, 20 feet forward, but they can't hop backwards. If they get hot, they can just lick their skin because their blood vessels are so close to their skin that simply licking themselves helps them cool off. That's because they're from Australia, where it's like super hot every day. We're now entering Tigris Asiana, home to our Asian animals, including, yes, our tigers here at the safari. We have two kinds of tigers. We have Bengal tigers, which live in southern Asia, and Siberian tigers, which live in northern Asia, where it's colder. Good. If you look over on your right, you'll see your first tiger. And that guy's name is Kirill. Hello, Kirill. Hi, Kirill. Tell me about 600 pounds. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a very big cat. Now, they have four different colors. Colors, white with black stripes like Kirill. Orange and black stripes is the norm. And then golden tabby with dark stripes. And the rarest in the world is white with white stripes. There's only 10 of those left. What? The coloration pattern is actually just due to a genetic mutation. But that means that as a, two tigers of the same color were to breed with each other, they can still have a baby that's a different color than they are. They are the only ti uh, tigers are the only cats that like to swim. They have webbed paws that help them to do this. That white with black stripes, his name is Balin. He is Kirill's half brother. And then the orange with black stripes, 